I think that there is a good attempt with doing the custodial wallets. I think it's a great shortcut. I have like, I, I think that custodial wallets are very much needed. And someone could think this is not like through Web3, but like we should look for what's the best user experience? What, where is the convenience? Web3 enables you to cut out somebody like Apple and directly speak to customers and directly sell to them. But that in itself represents a marketing, brand building challenge because those people are not just lining up outside your office door with Ethereum in hand, desperate to hand it to you. How how do you... Well, how have you gone about thinking about building the brand of Scavenger Land and resolving some of those issues of getting people to care about the the game and ultimately connect and buy in? Without the proper marketing and distribution, uh, it doesn't matter whether you are in the App Store or whether you have uh, you have a web based game. You need to work on the marketing strategy regardless. Uh, and uh, that's definitely a, a major focus of ours. Uh, I can I can say one thing at the very least, and that's we are not like we are a lot more passionate about attracting gamers uh, that will love the game rather than attracting NFT collectors uh, and investors just to invest into the assets. Um, I think that there will always be a mix uh, of those, but uh, that's why we will much rather pursue the path mm. of uh, building a gameplay demo to be able to showcase uh, uh, that to the gamers, uh, even with a trailer and, and everything, to gauge the interest rather than dropping uh, a pre-sale of a token that can later be used in the game because like you can see those two approaches and uh, the first one will attract the gamers, will build the community around like people that are passionate about the, the theme of the game, that are passionate about gaming overall and so on. And we'll be able to work with their feedback and so on. Versus the second case, right? We would be attracting uh, primarily the people that are interested in collecting NFTs and uh, people that are looking at NFTs from the investment perspective. When I mentioned that there is no bar of quality uh, in Web3 because like no one really cares about the user experience. Like the, the minting situation, if you are on mobile, mm -hmm. it's it probably is not going to work in 50% of the cases. And uh, uh, that's why I think it's 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 really important to really focus on how do we make it easier for people to enter? How do we like simplify the the current solutions? And I love the the big vision of uh, uh, blockchain and uh, and uh, the technology and and w how powerful it is, what it brings to the table, and I see a very bright future ahead. But I think we don't have the middle layer really figured out. In order to be able to operate with your uh, seed phrase in a safe uh, way, it's a comp <laughs> it's a complex task, and uh, not everyone has time to be setting up their ledger and making sure that they are backup is in a capsule and then you put like the words into the capsule in a very precise order and like this all like is uh, relatively challenging technically and i think like you know if you are like really into it you'll do it but for the majority of the people right now there is just not a fast way how to enter the, the tokenized world and uh, I think that there is a good attempt with doing the custodial wallets. I think it's a great shortcut. I have like, I, I think that custodial wallets are very much needed and someone could think this is not like through Web3, but like 
we should look for what's the best user experience what where is the convenience so i think it's more of that traditional know who you're working for know who you're building for uh, approach that comes out of more of a web two world it's like who is this thing for who is our audience as opposed to being technology first as in this has to be an nft and then we'll kind of figure out who might like it and who might want to buy it the games that are in web 3 for the most part are either very very basic or uh they like they don't focus enough on like having a great game uh gameplay experience and that's that's why we figured like we are convinced that NFTs and games uh, fit together very, very well. And that's important for the gamers to have a, a, a direct ownership in terms of like the assets in the game and uh, uh, for even like the top players uh, being able to earn through the game. Uh, these, these, these are great concepts, right? You can't really... Uh, create a, a play to earn game where everybody uh, everybody earns. <laughs> uh, that model does not work, uh, and like I, I think I think that's that's what uh, pretty much is happening with with Axie. Uh, but uh, like what we are after with Scavenger Land is uh, building a, a great game that will ultimately be loved by by the gamers that will fully feature the the benefits of uh, the nft world where you can uh, collect assets and uh, trade them and 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 monetize them if you wish Uh, but uh, yeah heavily focused on uh, uh, the game experience uh, without the uh, fancy uh, ponzi schemes uh, that uh, you know try to be uh, implemented in, in in many of the the projects these days. And I think anybody wanting to meaningfully enter the space needs to put that as one of the top things because once the hype dies, what's left is the experience that people are having with your your product or your game. And I think the other one that you alluded to was the the timeline. Yeah. We find the timelines in the space are insane. Everyone is just like, it's going to be done in a month, two months, three months. From concept to being live, we're going to build this amazing thing. But if you look at electronic arts, it takes them two years, three years to build a a game from concept to delivery. And even then, sometimes they get it horrendously wrong on launch and it takes them another year to fix what they've created. I think what I appreciate is how you seem to be happy to take your time and deliberate about creating an experience that people will enjoy and ultimately that will build the brand of scavenger land hello youtube i'm ross drakes i'm the founder of nice work and thank you so much for your time at watching this video if you're seeing me it means you made it all the way to the end so we've at least done something right if you enjoyed this we'd love it if you could hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up it really helps the channel And I think more important than that is if you know someone who might need to hear this, if you think someone out there who who needs this this message in their life, please spread the link because it, it makes a huge difference to the world and it allows us to fulfill our message of making sure that there are no more bad brands in the world. Thank you very much and we'll catch you in the next video.